Welcome to the Fort's official Tournament 18, Alex C versus Emily. Welcome back, Forts fans, to game number nine of the Forts official Tournament 18 replay commentary here on Synergy Gaming TV. Let us introduce our players. On the left-hand side, playing Scattershot, we have Alex C. And their opponent, on the right-hand side, playing Buster, is MLA. So, as you guys can see, we are on a, a very new and interesting map here. Another fantastic map created by Merrix for the map-making tournament. The link for this map will also be down below in the description, so you guys are able to... Uh, download that map at uh, your free will if you decide you want to play on this 1v1 map. Alex C chatting a little bit there to MLA, seeing what's up. So, um, we've got three mines here. Are we going to see more? We made a quick expansion here. And there we go. There's another one. So, MLA going for this four mine expansion. Rather than adding technology here on this map, you can see Alex E decided to go to the workshop in the front with the uh, sniper. Buzzsaw being placed down by Alex C. MLA, five mines, still no technology. Holy moly, going for that. You would think that they're playing Armadillo, not Buster. Um... If you guys have watched any of the live streams uh, lately, you guys will know that I'm really into the whole Buster situation right now. Buster is uh, very, very good. Just seems to be like the... Uh, well, after the 20mm nerf, uh, I started playing a little bit more with cannons, and I've realized that it's really good, actually. Cannons are really good with Buster's active ability. Double Buzzsaw here from Alex C coming out. Gonna run into the whiff. There we go. So there is metal everywhere. Alex C firing straight at the armor anyway. Maybe just to try and uh, aim Cobra. There you go. So um, there we have it. Doggo making some noises in the background. All right. Technology and storage. So we're going to see MLA obviously go for that munitions plant. All right. So uh, Alex C. A lot of smack talk in the chat. Not exactly... Um, that's not necessarily smack talk, so to say. But they're chatting amongst each other. Uh, sniper coming out here, so this is going to be good. Alex C, I think, forgot to take his meds today. And lots of chatter while he's playing. So he must be just sitting there waiting for... Uh, waiting for resources. Not sure why. That seems to be... Uh, uh, a lot of chatter. Typically, you don't see those in top-tier RTS games. So usually, the players are focused on playing the game rather than talking to their opponents. But you do see that occasionally from time to time. Great shots there. Emily uh, finally getting some map control here. This is a great situation right now for Emily to be in. Now, they're bantering back and forth. So, yeah, we are going to see nukes out of, uh, or at least warheads, out of Alex C. There is the munitions plant. I would have liked to see MLA hide this. Uh, so far right now, Alex C has absolutely, exactly, absolutely um, what commander MLA is. So, uh, to, to place this uh, munitions plant just kind of out there. I mean, they still don't know what the, who the commander is, but uh, definitely having that surprise would have been uh, a lot nicer, especially when you see Alex C in the chat was saying there, uh, I don't know where your weapons are or what weapons you're even making. There could be lasers in this area here. Uh, the sniper could have been sold off for a laser, so there's a possibility that Alex C could have received some lasers there, and playing against that mystery rather than exposing your tier 2 technology can be a big mind game uh, against your opponent. Now, of course, you make this gigantic box up top there. You could do that as a psych out and still build lasers anyway. I'm a little bit surprised MLA hasn't done any sort of uh, gunner play whatsoever, considering there's swarms on the field. Uh, we, we don't see any defense against the swarms. That seems like a little bit of a mistake to me. Alex C putting on the pressure there for MLA, taking out some of the, uh, the bracing and the turbines there right now. So MLA's energy production has been reduced to nothing. Swarm's coming in here to apply a little bit more pressure. Still not seeing any gunners done here. Fire on the weapons that are building. Um, I'm not sure that 
Emily knows that the, the 20 millimeters were nerfed. Now, on a map this small, uh, the base this small, the... Well, no, it could be still. One, two, three. Yeah, the, the 20 mils aren't going to reach the core. Oh! Saw off there. We resumed in. Missed that. Saw the whole top off there. Lost the weapon and everything. This is a situation that Alex C is absolutely dominating in right now. MLA needs to make a comeback here. First things first is going to be getting some gunners to protect you. Uh, to protect against some of the uh, the swarms. Alex C really abusing those uh, buzz saws right now. Applying some pressure there. However, um, had the sand or even a sandbag defense there in the front obviously resists the... Um, Resist the swarms. So I mean sandbag defense there instead of the portal would have been a great opportunity there to, pr to protect against the turbines and the weapon would probably uh, still be there uh, Very important to make sure that you are countering your base defense uh, even if it is with offense, but your base defense with um, With the proper techniques, right? So again swarms coming in here still no sandbag defense from MLA uh, That is a huge mistake actually huge mistake right there. There we go. Sandbag defense. Okay, so a little bit late, but we're going to see it right there. Um, might have just dawned on them now that sandbags were the opportunity here. So this is going to be really good now that the uh, swarms are going to do a lot less damage. This hidden gunner, uh, not so effective there. No, not effective at all. Now, it's gone. Uh, double shot there. Coming in. So I'm thinking the, the whole point here is to apply some pressure with warheads and then do a bunch of damage with buzz saws. It's kind of what I'm thinking here right now is the plan. I'm not seeing a whole lot more out of Alex C, which is relatively common for, for um, low technology builds. Alex C likes to do a lot of rushes. Typically, another great buzzsaw shot there. I'm surprised we don't see any metal out of MLA right now. I guess we're saving up for a weapon. That's definitely a possibility. Seeing both of their commanders at uh, full abilities right now obviously doesn't do anything really in this current situation. So, uh, Alex C again, just, just spamming those buzz thoughts here right now. Re the, keep in mind, those use a lot of resources, right? 200 metal, 2,000 energy for each one of those. And Alex C basically is all he's going to do. So he's going to apply the pressure with the swarms and the warheads. Well, typically just warheads now. Uh, and then we'll be uh, f following through with the buzz saw. So essentially, he's going to just try and remove the armor. Great shot there from Emily. Takes out the sniper. Great job. And Gary the Gunner manages to suppress that warhead completely. Alex C looking a little bit like a fool there. But I'm sure he will make a comeback with some great buzzsaw plays. There we go. That needs to be armor. How many times are you going to replace that and not put a piece of armor there? Uh, we shall see, I guess. Okay, lots of banter. I'm not sure how I feel about that in in uh, you know tournament play. I mean, it's it's great to have the players bantering with each other, but in terms of professional play, not sure how I feel about that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Maybe in the next ones we'll turn the chatter off. I know some of you guys probably like to read it, but it just seems kind of unprofessional to me. But let me know what you guys think, because it's really up to you guys if you guys want to see the chatter between the two or not. Buzzsaws again here. It'd be really nice to see Emily, uh, you know, take out those buzzsaws when there's one shot there. Great. Uh, quick little uh, turbine right there from Alex C to protect while the doors were closing. Great job. There we go. It's still not where I would want to put the metal, though. I'd definitely be putting it down there so this doesn't get taken out. And a 20 mil. So, this is that point now where he's going to be wondering, hmm, 20 millimeter cannon. What commander are you uh, playing? There, Emily. What's gonna? What's going down? How's this, how's this happening? We're going to see here. Alex C still? Hmm. Oh, exposed sniper. Yikes, why is that there? Emily not even noticing right now that there is an exposed sniper, not doing anything about it. That is another big mistake. So, uh, you can see here that Emily decided to put the armor here rather than in the same spot that's been taken out multiple times. Not sure, again, that's the right play. However, um, there we go. But saw there on the 20 mil coming in and a whiff on the 20 mil. That is relatively disappointing. Um, that could have done a whole lot more damage, especially hitting the technology that's exposed right there. We can see that they can't, but um, <clears throat> Alex C referring to his aim as being questionable. Yeah, not sure, not sure how I feel about that. Those types of comments in a in a what's to be professional match, but um, again, let me know how you guys uh, how you guys feel in the comments down below. Double sniper shot. 
There we go. Aim down a little bit lower. Applying some pressure there. Hit that technology. That's what we want to see. Hit that technology. Cause some repairs and use up some of Alexi's resources. Great sniper shot there. Taking out the laser pointer, laser designator individual. So I guess this would be uh, way down here below would be uh, a C, C less. Is that a name? Can you have C less as a name? C more is up high. C less is down below. Oh, that was cheesy. I love it. Another uh, exposed sniper here. This is where, you know, picking up your visual scanning is really important. MLA here going for going for the shots. The exposed sniper is literally sitting there. This is this is the types of plays that need to be maintained here. While, while MLA is rebuilding the base, you need to be looking at your opponent's base with your sniper selected to take that out. That shouldn't even have happened, right? This shot should not have happened. MLA should have been on top of that and removed the exposed sniper right off the bat there. And that RNG, oh man! That Gary managed to get the shot. Again, get on the sniper and shoot the other sniper. This seems very strange and, and odd here. They're too busy talking to each other rather than playing the match. I think that's what bothers me so much, to be honest. Right? That sniper is still sitting there, uh, which shouldn't be. Great shots there. Lots of damage done. Still no core damage, though. Alex e still sitting at 100. Now the sniper is being shot. All right, and Buzzsaw coming in here. Again, still no armor down there. We're, we are a little short on resources. MLA's only sitting at 200 metal. Getting that repairs done, though. Coming up to 300 metal. So this would be an opportunity. You'd want to place a piece of metal down there so the Buzzsaw has stopped ruining your parade. And getting ready some more here. Alex C with no sniper. Oh, I, I lied. Sniper right there. 20 mil coming in here. MLA needs to be scouting that right now and seeing the sniper. Need to shoot the sniper. It's, it's right there. And another complete sniper, and again, going to get off another volley that probably shouldn't have been on a, shouldn't have been shot. There we go. All right, a little bit delayed, but we've done it, preventing Alex C from getting the shot off here. Uh, fantastic. That's exactly what we want to see. Is that the right move? Are we going to get the launcher? No, we're not. I don't even think we. I don't even think we damaged it. To be honest, I didn't see a wrench on it at all. Uh, MLA definitely going to be in a commanding uh, map control situation here. Even if you use those 20 millimeters and scatter the damage throughout the base, you'll be able to take out the snipers, you'll be able to take out the connections, you'll be able to take out the energy production, you'll be able to do a lot of damage here to Alex C. Uh, you don't even necessarily need to fire all three of those together, but you can definitely spread them out and apply some damage elsewhere. Buzzsaw is coming in here doing some damage, and that is going to break the entire base. Wow. Uh, what a match. Very surprised there. FA key real quick there. We were at 12 minutes and 35 seconds when that match ended. So as you guys can see, there was definitely some misplays on both sides. Guys, that was Alex C versus Emily. Scattershot versus Buster.